every reporter wanted to start with, you got the job because you're a female. I was like, no, I got the job because I'm highly qualified and I happen to be a female. The Four A's has a program, the Multicultural Advertising Internship Program. And as we were getting ready to welcome that summer's class, I looked on the wall outside of our boardroom and there were pictures on that wall of my uh, eight predecessors, as well as the 40 some people who had had the role of chairman of the board. Every single person on that wall was white and there were two females, that's it. And yet we would bring in over a hundred kids every summer who didn't look like anything on that wall. I took the wall down. We digitized all the photos, so we had them for the archives. It was symbolic, but it was actually a physical act. You've got to change the appearance in order to manifest a change in appearance. It's the duality right. of human experience. And technology is just a mirror that amplifies all of the best aspects about ourselves and all of the best worst aspects about ourselves. So, so I, I always call it like everything is awesome, everything is terrible at the same time. Mm. And so it's one of those things where you could go on Clubhouse and you could find generosity, authenticity, integrity. Um, you can find people who are devoting time to really adding value to people, you know, and, and, and creating wonderful content, artists and poets and writers. But you could also find uh, manipulation and lies and uh, exploitation and and all of those things. And so for me, it's not one or the other, it's always one and the other because that is the duality of the human experience. Just as every person has the dark side and the light side and their good and their bad qualities, it is the sum, the totality of that. There's another saying out there that many of us know, your vibe attracts your tribe. Typically, and I'm Native American, so I can talk about tribes. Um, typically your tribe, looks like you, acts like you, thinks like you, you, you get them and surround you and it's a safe place, right? The concept of a swarm, which leads into this radical relationship is dragons travel with dragons that look different, act different, are different colors, are different sizes, so that they can protect each other and move together. You know, I no longer agree to disagree with people. But what I do, Joe, is I agree to be respectful, and I heard you say this earlier, and listen. Mm. Respect, but also the ability to lean into diversity uh, and differences. December 2019, Zoom had something like 10 million daily business users a day. And within just a few months, they had ballooned to having 200 million daily meeting participants. Then you got all the Zoom bombers. In April of last year, Eric Wan wrote this open blog post that is a model in vulnerability. He, he spoke in the first person, singular, to say, I am sorry. Here is what we are going to do about it. We're going to enact a feature freeze. We're going to shift all of our engineering resources to focus on security. You can expect, I think it was weekly uh, updates from me. We're going to submit to an independent transparency report. He wasn't trying to dumb down things that were going on either. He really helped to, to cement trust in the organization and in the platform. People continued to use Zoom because they realized how it was continuing to improve.